everybody, I'm Shauna and welcome back to my channel, Shauna Missy Me HD, where I strive to inform, encourage, and motivate you to achieve your educational goals by helping you gain that mission into health-related undergrad and graduate programs. And today we are talking about medical school. So I can tell that you guys fully don't understand some of the things I've talked about on some of my previous videos because you're still asking questions about certain topics and you're a little confused. So I just wanna break it down again by answering some of those frequently asked questions. But before we get started, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and press the subscribe button and press the notification bell so that you're notified when I release the next video. Now I wanna excuse myself from the beginning. You know, I look a little rough. I just got off work. I might rush through this video, but I wanna get it together and get it out to you guys ASAP because you guys have been asking so much. So yeah, so just, you know, Try to overlook the roughness okay <laughs> but uh but yeah so let's get to the video uh, don't get me started but first i gotta do my shout out and today's video shout out goes to miss kalia from tiktok she used the hashtag missy me tips if you want to know how to get a shout out for any of my youtube videos all you need to do is either comment on my tiktok video that promotes the actual youtube video using the hashtag missy me tips or comment on my youtube video using the hashtag missy me tips or you can repost any of my instagram stories using the hashtag missy me tips for a shout out Thanks, Kalia. So let's get right into it. So the very first question that I want to address is, what should I major in if I want to be a certain type of doctor? So as my followers and subscribers know, and if you're new to my channel, you, you'll know now, I'm an anesthesia resident, which means I'm training to be a anesthesiologist. And a lot of my followers and subscribers also wanna do the same thing. They're very interested in the field. So they wanna know what should they major in if they specifically wanna be an anesthesiologist. And the answer to that question is, there is no major that is specific to a certain specialty. And I'm gonna to get to what a specialty even means in a second. So if you wanna be a pediatrician, if you want to be a family medicine physician that works in a clinic and take care of all ages, both men and women, any condition. If you want to be a hematologist that focuses on blood disorders, if you want to be a surgeon, if you want to be a OBGYN, if you want to be a sports medicine physician, if you want to work in the ED, it doesn't matter what type of doctor you want to be, there is no particular major in college specific to a specialty. You can pretty much major in anything you want to major in to get into medical school. And once you get to medical school, you become exposed to all kinds of fields and specialties and then your idea about what you want to be may change anyway so know that there is no particular major that is specific to a type of doctor okay you can major in anything and go to med school and if you haven't checked out my video i have a video that talks about the best pre-med majors that compares statistics uh when it comes to what people major in the most and then the actual acceptance rates based off those popular majors okay so check that video out if you want to know what the best pre-med majors are while we're talking about pre-med let me make this clear pre-med is not a major it is typically known as a track so when you hear somebody say oh i'm a pre-med major they didn't go to school and sign up to major in pre-med because that is not a major you have to major in biology chemistry physics english sociology psychology finance accounting criminal justice, something, and you're following a pre-med track, which means you are taking the necessary courses for med school, which are the prerequisites, which I talk about on another video that talks about the requirements for med school. You can look at that video to find out what the prerequisites are. But all that it means is that you are majoring in something and then you are taking the prerequisite courses for med school. Therefore, you are following a pre-med track. Okay, you are not a pre-med major. Okay, next I just wanna talk about the levels of education or training. So to become a doctor, you first have to go to college, okay? Your typical four-year degree is what you have to get. And that is also called undergraduate degree. Okay, you've graduated high school, but you don't have any other education after high school. Therefore, it is called undergrad. Once you finish college and you graduate from college, you are now considered a graduate of college therefore you're not an undergrad anymore if you pursue any other education or degree after college it is 
considered a graduate degree, okay? Postgraduate or something like that because you have graduated college. Until you graduate college, you are considered an undergraduate. Everything above a bachelor's, like a master's or a doctorate, is considered a graduate degree. So, knowing the different levels uh, is very important. So, as a undergraduate, while you're in college, you are learning the basics of science that are applicable to medicine, okay? You're also just learning how to be a professional student. You're learning how to take difficult classes, manage your time, and all that type of stuff, okay, that's necessary to be able to handle the course load in medical school or any other professional school that you want to go to, pharmacy school, dental school, physical therapy school, law school, whatever. A lot of the classes that you take in undergrad may not actually be used in medical school, in residency, or even in your actual practice, but you need that foundation knowledge in order to survive the next level, okay? So you have your undergraduate courses. Once you graduate college, you then move on to medical school where you learn the study of medicine, okay? You learn everything there is to know about the human body, disease, how things happen, how you treat it, how you manage it, survival rates, you learn about tests and, and percentage of tests and false positives and false negatives and how well does a screening tool, how well uh, does a CT scan pick up on appendicitis. Okay, you learn all that type of stuff in medical school. Your first two, one and a half to two years is typically focused on the actual knowledge that you are learning from a textbook. Okay, so your basic sciences. Um, in the first one and a half to two years. Your last two years of med school or two years to two and a half years of med school is where you actually get your experience, okay? You get your exposure to the different fields of medicine. This is where you typically get a better idea of what type of doctor you wanna be. So a lot of you guys right now who are like 16, 17, 18 year old, you might say, okay, I wanna be a vascular surgeon oh i want to be a pediatrician oh i want to be a nephrologist i want to study the brain i want to be a neurologist okay you say all those things now but it's not really until you get to med school and you kind of learn number one the politics behind med school how you actually can become a doctor based off of matching and then also just are you interested in that field? Are you truly interested in that field and that lifestyle? Do you want more pay? Do you want more time at home? Do you want less years in residency? Those things come into play once you get to uh, med school and you actually get a better idea of how things really are. You'll do rotations. You'll actually get up every day and you'll pretty much do what a resident or actual doctor would do or at least be exposed to it as a medical student. So you'll get up every day and you'll go work different jobs. So you'll work so many weeks with the pediatricians. You'll work so many weeks with surgeons, so many weeks with internal medicine physicians, so many weeks with neurologists, so many weeks with OBG, and you'll get an idea of the field. And once you finally get your experience in that field, then you really, really know what type of doctor you want to be. And most people end up deciding at that time or, or later sometimes. But typically you decide by the end of your third year in medical school so that you can apply to residency your fourth year. Okay, so trying to like decide and make up your mind and finalize your thoughts right now while you're in high school or like just starting undergrad is very premature and a lot of times it changes because you change as a person right and then by the time you actually get to med school and you go through everything and you realize what you got to do to become a dermatologist you'd be like uh okay never mind i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna let i'm gonna let them have that and i'm gonna go do this one okay so don't feel pressured to make up your mind now about what type of doctor you want to be unless you're already in med school and it's time for you to apply to residency right other than that you guys have plenty of time okay keep your options open all right just real quick about answering a question about interns and residents and chiefs okay so if you are done with medical school and you have successfully matched into a residency program until you complete your residency training you are a resident it does not matter if it's your first year, your second, your third, your fifth, or your sixth, or your seventh. Until you finish your residency training, you are a resident, okay? Now, if you get called an intern, all that means is that it's your first year in residency, but you are still a resident. If you are called a senior resident, you're still a resident. You're just senior. It's no longer your first year. You have people below you so you're senior resident okay if you are called a junior resident that means you are 
below others you're a junior resident to whoever you're being compared to and if you're a chief you are in your last year of residency training at the end of the day if you are in a residency program whether you just started or whether you're about to finish you are a resident physician meaning you are a doctor who is training in a certain specialty now what exactly is a specialty so if you were able to follow along with the previous question that I answered about the different levels of education, if it made any sense to you that you'll realize that when you graduate medical school, you're not anything. You're a doctor, but you have absolutely no training in any particular field. So how could you go out and do surgery on a patient that you've never practiced before, right? How can you go out and treat someone with chemotherapy if you have no oncology training, right? So once you get to your fourth year in med school, it's time for you to decide, okay, what type of doctor do I want to be? What do I want to specialize in? So you will decide what type of doctor you want to be slash what your specialty will be and you apply to that residency program. So I'm currently a resident who is training to become an anesthesiologist so that when I go out in the field and I have my own practice or whatever it may be, I'm not killing people on a table, right? Right. So that is what a specialty is. So once you're in medical school, you don't have a specialty. It isn't until you actually apply to residency and you match into a program or you match into a specialty that you have declared and gotten into your specialty. And all the specialty is, is it pretty much tells you what type of doctor you are, what you have trained in, what you are the expert in. Hope that all of that information made sense, guys. Um, if you still are confused about certain things, you know what you can do. Always hit me up on Instagram. I am trying my best to respond. I've been a little busy, which is why I haven't released a YouTube video in like a week or two. Uh, but I will eventually get to you guys' messages. Um, please, if you have any additional questions or something just does not make sense, do not hesitate to hit me up. Hope that was helpful. You guys have a great day.